But what's not body positive is when you're 400 to 500 to 600 pounds and like visibly decaying. That's not body positivity. No one on this app who comments on fat bodies or what foods people are eating actually give any kind of a shit about someone's health. They don't. Because if they cared about someone's health, they would also care about that person's mental health. You know, I've done a few lives on this app and before I knew that you can smoke on lives, I had a few cigarettes on lives. Did anyone talk about the fact that I was possibly giving myself cancer? Warned me about the side effects of smoking? No. Did they comment on my weight? Yeah. You are not concerned that someone's weight is causing them to be unhealthy. You are concerned that despite them being overweight, they might love themselves and you don't. Now, do you really think berating someone online about their weight is the best way to get them to lose weight? Or can we all agree that loving yourself and wanting to nurture yourself and look after your body because you love yourself might be a better route? And you say that 400 pounds and up, you know, that's no longer body positivity. How much do I weigh? No, come on, I want a number and it better be accurate. Because if you're setting a limit to body positivity with a weight, you better be able to accurately tell someone's weight from afar. See this? This is the first bikini I ever owned. And I love this bikini because it reminds me of the time that I decided to start loving myself. It reminds me of a time that I decided that I was worthy of things. It reminds me of the time that I first realised I look fucking hot. And I'm sorry that your insecurities find that a really triggering statement for me to love myself. But I promise you can get there. As soon as you stop concerning yourself with other people's bodies and other people's weight and start looking at yourself. No one is stating that obesity is healthy. But if you hate yourself and you lower your standards, you're opening yourself up to a world of people who will abuse you and you'll thank them for it. I want you to think of a person you really hate. Would you put in the time, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, to help them, to make them better? Would you do that? While you think about that, I'm just going to keep existing in my bikini, okay? You know, the New York Times said um, half the increase in support of gay marriage is due to generational turnover. That's what smart people call crazy uptight bitches dying. People are always like, I'm not eating any sugar. I'm on a sugar detox. Then why are you eating that berry? Why are you eating that plain Greek yogurt? Why are you eating that carrot? Yeah, you're eating sugar. And you wonder why we don't trust these people. It happens every single time. Every single time. This is from today. This is from today. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. No. Wasn't fat rep. Was not. Was not ever fat rep. Unapologetic fat actors forever and only till the end of time. This is boring. Studies show that if you have between 104 degree or 108 degree um, nasal tip rotation, oh. those are the ones that are considered the most beautiful. And hers is 106. Somebody has to measure our nasal yes. tip rotation. And then we know we have be the most beautiful uh, noses. But symmetry is what they say is uh, a lot of the yeah. eye of beauty, right? Okay, but the yeah. second most requested <laughs> is requested eyelids. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl talk. Fuck being good, I'm a bad bitch. Well, a rich white school district in Wisconsin has opted out of free lunches for their students because they said they thought the kids might get spoiled by them. Well, as somebody who had free lunches my entire childhood, let me tell you, I got pretty spoiled by them. I did. Yeah, one too many free pieces of square pizza. Next thing you know, I'm walking around like my shit don't stink. Like, I think I'm just entitled to clothes that fit or teeth that work good. Everybody's looking at me like, hey, where does Trey get off walking around here like his mama ain't in prison or his family members ain't dropping like flies to the opioid epidemic? Who does he think he is? 
Must be all that vaguely pork-like rib-shaped meat stuff he's been getting for free. We better cut that out post-haste. Are you fucking kidding me? Nothing in this world pisses me off more than people who've never struggled a day in their lives acting like the poor or lazy grifters looking for a life on easy street. Nothing about it is easy, motherfuckers. Case in point, golfers argue over whether or not poor children deserve food. Free lunches don't spoil kids, they shame them. Now granted, I never felt that shame really because my whole town was so poverty stricken that the kids who didn't get free lunches got made fun of for being rich. Like, check out Kobe over here with his Lunchables and his married parents. That's how fucking broke we was. Which is part of why this is so unfathomable to me. My community didn't have a bunch of rich assholes in it to demonize us for the already horrific circumstances of our childhood. And the fact that this is coming from the what would Jesus do, won't somebody think of the children please crowd makes it particularly egregious. Like, can we just, can we just fucking eat these people already please? Let's just eat them. I bet they taste like them good snails. Nobody's gonna care. I don't know what they expect. You fucking starve the poor for long enough. You know, at least keep the great resignation going. Enough poor people refuse to dig their ditches or pour their drinks or fry their chickens. Keep that up for long enough and we'll find out who's really spoiled in this country. God damn it. <sighs> Love y'all. Here's what the United Nations had to say for International Men's Day. Happy International Men's Day to all the male allies around the world who support women. Defy gender roles, fight gender-based violence, and stand up for equality. International Men's Day should be about men and the issues that men face in the same way how International Women's Day should be about women and the issues they face. But instead, this post was made to be all about women. You know, a lot of times I do get mistaken for Jewish, which is fine. It usually works in my favor. And... <laughs> Like, my building manager, he's actually like this really hardcore Israeli guy, and he keeps calling me Miss Yaakov, which is a Hebrew version of my last name, Yaakov. So I'm pretty sure he thinks that I'm Jewish or Israeli. And it's kind of awkward, because like, I don't want to come out and tell him that I'm actually Palestinian, right? Because like, I don't want to come home one day, find him living in my apartment. <laughs> Like, next thing you know, he'll tell me apartment 22 never even existed. <laughs>
Uh, big surprise. <laughs>